Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back. Um, John and I are here with one of our favorite contributors, Michelle Fabrega. And uh, how are you doing, Michelle? I'm good. How are you doing, Art? How are you doing, John? Uh, good. I, I always love it when we get together. You have such great topics for us. Um, <laughs> and I think they're universally important because what's more important than love and relationships in people's lives, really? What do you have for us today? Yeah. So today I want to get into something that I think is pretty juicy, actually. So, you know, one of the issues I, I hear people talk about is our bodies don't respond to lovemaking the way they used to. And what's possible for us? Good, good topic. Wait, is this uh, one of the topics that we have to say, uh, have the uh, children, even your adult <laughs> children, leave the room? <laughs> possibly. Possibly. Okay. Yeah. I think we're probably talking about We're not going to get too graphic, like though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So what what do you say to that? Uh, what, our bodies don't respond. I, you know, it could be, happen at any age, I guess. But it sounds to me like a, an older couple. Yeah, yeah, it's more likely to happen then, and it's it, it's kind of normal in a way. So I want to first just normalize it, really, and and also to answer the question, what's possible? So much is possible, um, and so <laughs> I'm delighted to to get into this because I feel like. A lot of us tend to focus too closely on like just our genitals and genital sex, but there's so much more to enjoy in our bodies sensually. So now wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's wrong with genital sex? Nothing wrong <laughs> with genital sex. It's my favorite. Sex. Yeah, well, that is great. And so, but when the question being, you know, if I'm not, if my body's not responding, then what? Do I just say, oh well, that's it? You know, it's like, no, many things are possible. Yeah. So, yeah, one of the things I, I first want to say is that just to, you know, notice once again and, and, and accept and allow what is because there are changes sometimes and, um, you know, it's not what we choose, right? And there can be some sort of sadness and grief around that. And it's okay. Like, it's just to, to be with that and notice that. And it is, it, we're talking about a physical change, really. Or, yeah. or do you think it's a mental change that our bodies well, don't respond it, it, yeah, I mean, in particular, I was thinking about physical things. Obviously, you know, you might want to see a, a doctor around, you know, whatever issues are going on for you medically, and there might be some support there. There's Dr. Liz on some of your other videos to help with that around hormones and things. But, but just to remember that our bodies really have this amazing capacity to bring us joy and pleasure. And um, it's important to accept where we are and notice, you know, what might be getting in the way. And some of those things can be our own thoughts and judgments about our bodies, the way they look, the way they don't respond as quickly as they used to, or, um, or those kinds of things. Because I think it's um, they get in the way of our, you know, how we're going to respond, how we're going to relax and enjoy ourselves if we're judging our bodies. Yeah, it, it seems to me that uh, this question is is uh, our bodies don't respond at, at first my reaction was um, well that's a physical problem but it's it really leads to an intimacy problem because and, sex, sex and, al so and also and also um, the person who's posing the question who's dealing with this this may be something that's only on their side and not on their partner's side their partner may uh, still be responding and, and eventually it may affect their relationship but it may just be them and you have strategies for people to uh, uh, to work with that even if you're only speaking to one of the parties is that not correct that's right yeah that's right and the most important thing is really bringing in you know kindness curiosity with compassion non-judgment and just acceptance and also like sharing what you want to be doing together and what you'd like to be feeling with each other. So you focus on, you know, wow, how can we, given what's going on, you know, maybe there's an illness or an injury or whatever is going on, how can we enjoy ourselves, you know, sensually? And I think that's really important to kind of take the goal and performance anxiety or whatever out of it and to just relax into being close with each other. And to explore, it sounds And like. to explore, exactly. And, and what I mean by that is just, you know, loving 
touch really all over our bodies. And, and, you know, there's massage, of course, which is wonderful, but there can be just the simple joy of, you know, caresses, kisses, touching with your hands and other body parts or other things you can find, right? Get creative feathers and spatulas. And, you know, I don't know, there's all kinds of toys out there, right? And all kinds of, you know, erotic material that might, you know, books you can read or movies you can watch. Yeah. And, um, but really it's important to kind of enjoy what is available to you right now and, and, and explore. Cause maybe some of these things are like, well, that's not what I would have ever done before. Or I don't think I feel comfortable with that. It's like, okay, well, it might be a little uncomfortable, but sometimes it's, um, we can take a little step towards something a little different. Sure. And if, if you got a problem and you don't change, if you don't, pick a direction and move forward, then you're not going to solve the problem. That's right. Yeah. Including the fact that your body or your partner's body are not responding the way you want to, uh, you, you, or you're used to for in sexual or intimate circumstances. Well, I'm going to look at spatulas in a whole different (laughs) way. I, I think, um, in fact, I'm going to use a spatula tonight. (laughs) <laughs> when I make dinner, I think. Yeah, and you know, it sounds kind of silly and crazy, but it's just about play, really. I mean, it's just to bring the play back into, you know, playing doctor, right? You could play doctor with each other, and when's the last time you've done that, right? And <laughs> and it can just be, yeah. And and there's also, of course, you know, there's toys, like I mentioned. There's you know, vibrators. There's dildos. There's vibrating dildos, right? Right. And, and, and kinky things like floggers and blindfolds and restraints. And, you know, yeah, it's it's just good to get curious and to play and, and make the time for it. So obviously, you know, choosing a time is, is key when, you know, you're both rested. You have some uninterrupted time. Mm-hmm. Ideally, I suggest after you've done some exercise because that can increase the blood flow to the genitals. Oh, that's and also, good. yeah, and also not after a meal because we all know what can happen after a meal. So yeah. ideally, before Food a meal. Coma. So yeah. yeah, right, exactly. So, you know, when you have some energy and, you know, many couples, if you wait until like at night when you're about to go to sleep at night, everybody's tired, it's too late, you know? So, so maybe, maybe you could address just a little bit uh, for our audience of the couples that you've treated, sometimes just one person, sometimes the kind of transformations that not always happens, but some of the most amazing transformations of people who come to you that are really upset really with this situation. Uh, can you just go into one or two uh, uh, concepts of, yeah. of trans- transformations that are possible? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, um, I mean, I could even speak to myself around this, but something around along the way, you know, along the way we lose touch literally with all of our bodies, like the skin, the surfaces of our skin behind our knees, but you know, behind our neck, um, different areas of the body that just enjoy light, gentle touch. And so the feeling of this can be so pleasurable and so enlivening. And, you know, maybe we get aroused. That's great. Maybe we don't get aroused. That's great too, but we can still be enjoying this feeling and it just, it, it's such a way to be in the present. It can reduce stress. It can be relaxing and playful. And I, I really encourage people to t- take turns with it too. Or like have one person just be the receiver and their only job is to just relax and sort of drink in the experience. It, it's a whole new playground really and um, adventure land t- to be explored. Yeah. And it, it can be extremely joyful and satisfying. Explore our sexuality. Experiment. I love it. Yeah, play. Excellent. Yeah. Good advice. Well, thank you again for just another great uh, session of, 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 of revealing things that a lot of people just don't want to talk about a lot. And I'm sure that this is going to be very um, useful to some people. And if uh, uh, they want to get in touch with you directly, how can they go ahead and do that? Yeah, yeah. So I can be reached. Uh, my website is michellefabrica.com and love to explore and talk with someone about what they'd like to be experiencing and how they might bring that up with their partner or 
um, it, it's, it's tricky, you know, it's tricky. We don't always have the language or the comfort talking about sexuality. Yeah, I love, uh, Michelle, I love your, your uh, slogan, uh, if you could have the relationship you desire. Uh, and that's what you help people find. That's great. Thank you for another great uh, session. We're in a session. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, great to be here with you both. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.